In 1869, a French naturalist who was visiting China first described the giant panda to Europeans. He identified it as a species new to science, and he classified it as a bear. He sent a giant panda skeleton to an anatomist in Paris, who the following year reported that it looked less like a bear and more like another animal from China, the red panda, which had already been classified as a member of the raccoon family. This type of back and forth went on for more than 100 years, with some arguing that the giant panda was a bear, some arguing that it was a raccoon, and others saying that it belonged to a group of its own. Biologists did agree that bears and raccoons share a common ancestor. And most agreed that the red panda shared a more recent common ancestor with raccoons than with bears. But the likely position of the giant panda branch remained much less certain. One of the biggest sources of confusion in classifying the giant panda was that both it and the red panda live a similar lifestyle in the bamboo forests of China. They both eat bamboo, and they both go about it in a similar way. So, while the giant panda looks a lot like a bear, and the red panda looks a lot like a raccoon, they have some unusual traits and behaviors that are very similar to each other's. A big challenge for scientists was determining whether specialized panda characteristics were ancestral or derived. That is, did the two pandas share traits because they inherited them from a common ancestor, or did both species develop these traits more recently in response to their shared environment? You will evaluate evidence from anatomy, fossils, or DNA, and make a claim about the ancestry of the giant panda.